A good while back, I did a short fishing guide on how to get lots of fishing EXP. However, I left out a lot of new things and didn't go into much detail, including a brand new enchantment that's being added that will help out a ton. Fishing is one of the most complicated skills in Skyblock, so today, we will go into detail on the number one way to level up fishing in Hypixel Skyblock. This will include passive and active EXP methods, the best gear, pets, and anything else you may need. If you enjoy my content, remember to leave a like down below and subscribe for daily Skyblock videos and ring that notification bell for some good luck. My foot's currently wrapped up in some blue bandage and I should probably be asleep right now, but I'm recording instead. Check the description for all the goods and join my Discord because we have hundreds of people and talk a lot. Thanks and enjoy the video. Let's go over the active fishing method first since that's more interesting to most people. Starting off with armor, there are two sets of armor you can use. The first set is going to be angler armor, and this is because it gives one sea creature chance for each piece. The full set bonus to my knowledge is currently broken, so it's not better than the reigning champion, the diver's armor. The diver's armor gives two sea creature chance per piece, giving it a total of eight chance. You also move really fast in water, and this ability is very annoying. But how you can counter is by holding shift, and you stop moving so darn fast. So, if you're looking to get the maximum XP possible, you will need to shell out for some diver armor. Fishing is one of the more expensive skills in all of Skyblock, so you're going to need to invest a lot of coins into it to get the most out of this skill. Quick shoutouts to Aiden James 17 in my guild for loaning me all this stuff for today. He loaned me the diver's armor the pet will be using and the salty rod of legends, which is the rod that we will be using today. This is currently the best rated rod in all of Skyblock. It gives 12 sea creature chance, and then since it's recombobulated, the salty reforge gives it an additional 5 sea creature chance. The reason we want so much sea creature chance is because when you fish up a sea creature, you get more XP than when you fish up just a fish, so obviously higher sea creature chance is going to make it better so you can get faster XP. You will want to get a max level enchanted fishing rod. This is what a max level looks like, all level 6 enchants with blessing 5 and telekinesis 1. This will give you the best chance to get money, fishing XP, and fish up sea creatures. Now that you have your diver's armor, your rod of legends, you're ready to go. Well, there's one more thing. You will want to get an epic dolphin pet. This is a level 90 epic dolphin pet, and the reason you want an epic instead of a legendary is because it's easier to level up, it gives the same fishing buffs, and the legendary ability is pretty much just you can stun sea creatures, which doesn't really do anything, it's not going to help you at all. So it's better to get an epic and get it slightly higher level. The epic dolphin gives sea creature chance, which is very good, intelligence, which doesn't matter, and this one has a lucky clover, so it gives 7 magic find. The first ability increases your fishing speed for every single player within 10 blocks up to 25% currently. And the echolocation ability increases the sea creature catch chance by currently 9%. We can assume this goes to 10 because it's a level 90 dolphin and that's kind of how scaling works in this game. So this is going to be your best pet when fishing, so definitely go ahead and pick this up. Don't use a flying fish, it's not better, just go ahead and sell that thing. So now you have armor, a great fishing rod, and a perfect pet. Is there anything else you should use? Yes! You can put bait inside of your fishing bag. Currently, whale bait is the best. It's very expensive to use, but it's currently the best for fishing XP. If you can't afford whale bait, using what I'm using right now, which is going to be the fish bait, is almost as good as whale bait because it increases your catch time. The three potions you should bring when fishing are going to be fishing XP boost 3 obviously, magic find 4, and pet luck 4. This is so you can fish up rare things, rare loot, and have a chance to fish up pets better. Finally, let's talk about where you should be fishing because there are two really really nice fishing spots. The first one is going to be go to the spider's den and then once you're here immediately take I'll just your grappling hook and go way back over to the main island and we're actually going to end up going to the barn. The barn is basically just going to be straight to your left and this is because the sea creatures like don't attack you over in the barn and it's a really really nice place to fish. No one else is really ever here so you don't have to worry about someone trying to attempt to steal your loot even though they do have pickup priority it's still technically possible. And personally I like to fish in this little patch of water just don't try not to throw your rod down the little river thing or it can get kind of annoying but this is a great place because if you do catch a sea creature then it just kind of goes over here, which is really nice. Yeah, they don't attack you. Compared to fishing up here, where you can launch them off the cliff and then you have to go back down and get them, and it's a whole mess. 
Alternatively, you can make your way over to the park and fish here, but you'll have to probably purchase some rain if it's not already raining from Vanessa. It's 5,000 coins per minute of rain, and we have spent 24 billion coins on rain. But you can just fish in here, and it's kind of nice. It's a little bit more open and a little bit more peaceful, and you can go ahead and just do that. A very important tip when fishing is to make sure to carry either an explosive bow, an ink wand, or an aspect of the dragons. Just in case you fish up a sea emperor, you can use the abilities on these things to double the drops of the emperor. Just make sure you land your last hit with either the aspect of the dragon's ability, an explosive bow arrow, or an ink wand shot. I'm pretty sure most area of effect weapons deal this because there's kind of two hitboxes on, on the guardian and then the little dude that sits on top of them. Oh, but I have gotten confirmation that these three items do work, so try and carry at least one of those. When using the dolphin pet, it's important to fish with as many different people as possible, up to 10, because this will increase your fishing speed, since the first ability of the dolphin pet does increase your fishing speed for every player up to 10 players. So it's definitely important. Grab your friends. It's always more fun fishing with friends anyways. Hold on, I gotta help this guy out here. For passive fishing XP, you will be want to use a fishing minion. The higher tier fishing minion, the better. If you cannot afford a level 8 or higher fishing minion, I recommend just using clay instead. Clay is decent for fishing XP, but if you can afford a level 8 or higher fishing minion, then it will actually give you more fishing XP. Make sure to attach a large storage to this guy since there are tons of fishing drops you can get. The diamond spreading will probably help you get more money, but if you're looking for just speed, Go with a flycatcher if you're super rich, or if you're not super rich, go ahead and put a minion expander on there. And obviously the super compactor 3000 makes great storage improvements, and fuel just use the enchanted lava bucket. Some last little tips are make sure you have the biggest fishing sack size that you possibly can. I'm a fishing noob, so I only have a small fishing sack. And make sure your fishing bag is pretty high up too. You can get these by getting the clownfish and the pufferfish collection. So make sure to unlock those as it'll help you have to take less trips to the bazaar when you're fishing. And finally, fish with friends. Get in a call with some of your friends and fish. Fishing is definitely one of the more boring things to do in Skyblock, so by fishing with other people, maybe talking to them, it'll be much easier on yourself to try and level up your fishing skill because it'll be more fun. That's going to be it for today's episode. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like on the video. If this helped you out, do subscribe. We're going to get you to rank one day, mark my words. And the only way we can do that is with all of your guys' support. Thank you so much for all of the recent support you guys have been giving me. I'm going to keep doing these daily videos as long as I possibly can. So definitely, you don't want to miss those. Ring the, the bell thing, ring it so you are the first person to see everything. Because sometimes I say some money-making methods and it's kind of first come, first serve. So do that, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, take care.